Hey, what's going on, you guys? For Pursuit 4 Pursuit 3, and welcome to my, or well, at least one of my full body workout plans. Uh, so, this is a full body home workout plan which will take you around 30 to 30 minutes to an hour, depending on who you are. Because uh, if you're a beginner, it, it could take you an hour. If you're advanced, it could take you only like 30 minutes. It depends on how fast you work at your own pace and rest breaks and all that. The thing that I want to mention is that I'm going to include something called a superset in some of some parts of the workout and a superset is just like once you do one exercise instead of taking a rest and then doing the next exercise you do that exercise then the next exercise then you rest and then repeat that three times for the three set for the three sets you could play the first exercise pause the video go to the next exercise and continue on or you can watch us through and then do the workout after uh, it's all up to you guys all right everyone so you're going to need some resistance for this workout because some people might find it too easy and with resistance you could end up using a backpack which is my preference and fill it up with either books or water bottles and with that it can add some extra weight to your workout and make it feel a bit harder first workout will be push-ups as you can see in the background and this will target your chest and we want to hit about three sets of push-ups and then eight to ten reps each set and as you can see, you want to keep a neutral spine. Mine kind of looks bent, like the lower back, but it's only, like, I grew up with a big butt, so, like, I mean, that's what it is. With our second workout, we are going to hit, target our triceps, and it includes chest as well. Doing diamond push-ups, same thing, three sets of eight to ten reps. Right now, you want to keep your hands in a triangle shape, as you guys can see there. Or like a diamond shape really and you want to do like really close grip push-ups from the side angle it looks like a regular push-up it's just closer grip uh but like before you want to keep a neutral spine so your lower back doesn't hurt if your lower back hurts the well then you're probably doing something wrong and you want to fix your form with our third workout we are going to be targeting our upper back which is bent over rows and that you'll need the backpack for that of course we want to hit three sets eight to ten reps once again in this workout you want to go lean at around like maybe a 90 or plus degrees and you want to have the backpack low and then squeeze your shoulders back retract your shoulder blades and then that would be your bent over row and this will target like i said your upper back from the back it looks like that you want to retract your shoulder blades once you go up down up retract and all like that you're going to want to superset this with hyper extensions which targets your lower back three sets eight to ten reps once again the hyperextensions uh, it works on your lower back, and it's a kind of, it, what I'm doing is a Superman hyperextension. Usually, you don't lift your legs, but hyperextension you want to superset it and don't rest in between hyperextensions and bent over rows. Just go straight to hyperextensions. With our fourth workout, we're going to target our biceps, and we're going to do the all natural bicep curl, three sets, eight to ten reps. And in my opinion, if you have two backpacks, it will really help. Um, because two backpacks, uh, you could target both biceps at once. You could do single like I'm doing here. Or in the beginning of this clip, I did both of them at once. You could do that. Or you could use one backpack, flip it sideways, and use that as one barbell curl. From the side angle, it looks like that. And yeah, I know, I have no biceps. It doesn't look like anything. But this is what I wanted to show you guys from the side angle. You don't want to move your uh, arm so much. There might be a little bit of swing because backpacks are different. For our fifth workout, we're going to hit shoulders, which is our side deltoid first, which are lateral shoulder raises. You want to have two backpacks at your side, and then you just want to lift it sideways and make a T with your body. Uh, there's not much to it. Don't fully, don't have your arm fully extended. You want to have it at a bit of a, not really 90 degree, at a 45 degree angle is what you want to do. And then right after that, you're going to want to superset it with front lateral raises to target your front deltoid, three sets to eight to 10 reps, as always. And this is a side angle just to start off. That's what it looks like. You're just lifting it right in front of you. Uh, obviously, keep your elbows bent because you don't want to wreck your elbows. And you don't really want to go too high to the point where it gets uncomfortable. The reason why I showed a front angle is just because like you'll see what it looks like. It, it doesn't look much, but yeah. Just super set it with that. And then we're on to our sixth workout, not our fifth. And we are going to target our, our abdominals. We're going to hit three sets, 30 seconds to one minute of plank. And yeah, plank is really a pain for everyone. Of course, you want to keep that neutral spine. Here, it looks different um, compared to a push-up form with a neutral. That's what you want to look like on a push-up form. But at the same time, if your lower back doesn't hurt, I don't think it should be that bad. Just 
try and focus on your form. For our seventh workout, we are going to target our quads and our glutes, which are, of course, the all natural squats. I don't know if there's much that I have to explain. People say like you shouldn't pass, you shouldn't let your knees pass your toes, and that's not true because some like big athletes let their knees pass their toes on like say, um, well squats. I guess if they're squatting heavy, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you can feel the activation in your quads and your glutes, and squeeze your glutes on your way up. And then final workout is you're gonna superset it with calf raises, and you want. Obviously, I'll target your calves, three sets to eight to 10 reps. You wanna go down, you wanna keep time under tension. So you wanna go down and then up, down, up. You wanna hit like, go down and then go up and hold it for like two seconds and then go back down slowly. You don't wanna rush down so quick. Here's a back angle of it. The lighting's not really good, but you could see the muscle movement. It goes down and then up of the calf. But anyways, you guys, there's not really much else to say. It's super set, like I said, just don't take a rest in between. But if there's no superset with a workout, then just don't superset, just take a rest. If you guys tried this workout, go let me know how it went down in the comment section. Uh, if you guys definitely want to see more of this, let's just, let's put a like goal on this. If we see, if I see 10 likes on this video, I know that you guys possibly enjoy like this fitness thing and I'll possibly come out like, for all I know, I'll come out with my own plan. Like I'll show you guys what my own plan is during the week, my own fitness plan. Uh, but yeah, uh, if the, your gym is open, congrats. You don't necessarily need to do this workout, but if you want to do like workouts at home, this is something that you could do. Anyways, you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Far bus is out. Peace out, guys.